Autumn is a fantastic time of the year to use creature baits, especially for targeting perch. And one of my favourite creature baits in the Fox Rage range is the Mini Craw. We've been out on a small river today using them. We haven't got the best conditions. It's been quite bright and sunny today, although there is a tinge of colour in the river because we had quite a bit of rain a couple of days ago. So that I think has helped. And we've caught a couple of nice perch and they've all been on the Mini Craw. So there's a few features to the lure that really help it excel, especially for fishing smaller rivers like this, which I'll talk to you about next. One of my favourite features of the Mini Craw is the size of the twin tail claws at the back. They've got really wide appendages and this helps the lure fall really slowly as it's falling to the bottom, especially when rigged on a light jig head. That gives the fish plenty of time to see the lure when you're cast into features such as overhanging trees, bridges, moorings, that kind of thing. And also they create a lot of movement as well and they have a fantastic action. Other features as well, it's got a belly slot underneath that enables you to rig the lure Texas style. It's got quite a thick body to it, which I think gives it a nice profile. And also when rigged on a jig head, the hook keeper buries inside really nicely. Sometimes if it's quite a narrow soft bait, when you rig up a soft bait onto the jig head, the hook keeper will actually stick out, but it's buried nicely inside this lure because of the thickness of the body. It also helps with that larger profile. If you're fishing it in slightly more coloured water, like what I'm fishing today, it helps that lure stand out that bit more. And then also you've got these little eyes as well that give it a really realistic look. There are three different sizes in the Mini Craw range. There's a six, eight and 10 centimetre model. Today I've been using the six centimetre size and chopping and changing between a couple of my favourite colours. The way I've been rigging the lure is Texas style, so the hook's buried inside the soft bait. For the six centimetre size, a size one offset hook sits perfectly in the body of this lure. On the front, I've been using a three gram jig head Although with this size of lure, you can actually scale down to as small as 1.5 grams. That's enough to actually get the tail swimming as it's falling on the drop. So I've been using the Cheb rig today because this is quite a snaggy section of river. But on more open sections of river or lake or canal, I'll rig it on a normal jig head. So this is rigged on a 3.5 gram size one jig head. That's great for just hopping along the bottom or I can fish it on a straight retrieve. And another way I like to fish it as well, again, in more open situations, is on a Ned rig. So this is rigged on a, a Ned jig head. Um, this one's actually a weedless Ned head. So um, it's got a weed guard in front of it and you can just drag it along the bottom. Sometimes I'll impart the odd twitch into the lure because if you drag it too slowly, the, the twin tail claws won't swim properly. So you can mix up your retrieve a little bit when you're rigging it on a Ned rig, but it's another great rig to try for fishing sort of medium to larger size rivers, lakes and canals. I've got a few favourite colours in the range, depending on whether I'm fishing in clear or coloured water. And although the river is quite coloured today, it's got a tinge from the rain we had a couple of days ago, because it's been so bright, I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky at the moment, I've actually been able to get away with using quite dull colours that I think are showing up enough. So the fish I've caught today have been on the natural craw colour. It's great for clear water conditions. It's got a darker back and a slightly reddy, browny coloured belly that resembles a small signal crayfish really nicely. And this river's full of signal crayfish, so um, they're one of the, the main prey items that perch feed on, and also pike as well. When there's a little bit more colour in the water, I like to use something a little bit brighter and something that's going to stand or almost glow in front of the fish. So this is the UV green pumpkin colour. It's one of my favourite colours throughout the Rage range, but it especially works well with the mini craws. And then when I am fishing in really coloured water like a, a busy canal or a river or, or lake after there's been a flood 
Something bright like UV salt and pepper has a big profile and stands out. When fishing small rivers like this, you're often only making a handful of casts in each swim. Some of the swims or likely looking spots can be so tight that uh, you only manage to get a few casts in that particular area before it's time to move on. So you often end up covering a lot of ground when you're fishing on small rivers like this and I'll probably end up walking a couple of miles or so today. So I don't like to take too much gear with me, otherwise it can be quite exhausting. I'm keeping it all in my chest pack. I've got all my favourite lures in front of me here, a few of the more non-essential items in the back of my chest pack as well. And I often like to only take one rod with me. So I like something versatile that I can use a variety of different types of lures with. And my favourite rod in the Rage range is the Terminator Spin Finesse. So this is the two meter 40 size, so it's seven foot 10. And it casts lures between five to 21 grams. It's, it's got a, a very sensitive tip, so I can fish sort of very light lures with it. So I can scale down to even smaller soft baits than the, than the mini crawls I've been using today. But also it's got quite a, a strong backbone as well. So it enables me to fish with hard baits, like crankbaits, which I love fishing, especially at this time of year. Paired with the rod is a 2500 size front drag reel and it makes for a really light balanced outfit that's a joy to use over the course of a day's fishing. This reel is spooled up with 0.11 braid, it's the equivalent of around about 20 pound braking strain and I've chosen a high vis colour, I always rig up with something like yellow, chartreuse or white and the reason for that is so that I can watch the line and it helps me detect bites as I'm hopping a lure along the bottom or swimming a crankbait or hardbait back. So I can be watching the line and any sort of unusual movements could be a bite and that's when I strike. As I mentioned earlier, I caught a couple of perch this morning and one of them was a really nice fish. So that's a little bit of an insight into how I like to fish the mini craw and the rod and reel outfit that I like to use for fishing creature baits and other types of small lures on small to medium sized rivers. The light's starting to go a little bit now, so I'm gonna get back fishing and I'll see you soon. <laughs>